Okay, here's a technique for converting the equation of a parabola or a quadratic function that's written in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, into vertex form, so that you can easily identify the vertex. Here's what vertex form looks like. And if you have it written this way, it's easy to tell that the vertex is located at the point with coordinates h comma k. So here's the technique. Uh, the first thing you want to do is factor out that leading coefficient from the first two terms. So if I factor out a negative 3 from the first two terms, it's like I'm dividing by negative 3. So I'll get left inside the parentheses x squared minus 2x plus I'm going to leave a placeholder here for the process called completing the square. I want to convert this into a perfect square trinomial, the three terms in parentheses. Uh, you can double check your work by redistributing the negative 3. Get negative 3x squared plus 6x. That looks like it's right then. And then you leave this constant term out to the right. Now here's the key. The process of completing the square on this trinomial if the leading coefficient is a 1, is to take half of this negative 2 and square it. <clears throat> so this will always be positive. So half of negative 2 is negative 1. Negative squared 1, uh, negative 1 squared is 1. That makes this a perfect square trinomial. Now to keep the equation in balance, we have to account for the fact that we just put this 1 here. But here's the tricky part. If you'd redistribute the negative 3, what we really did was add a negative 3 to the right side of the equation. So to keep it in balance, we have to do the opposite out here to the constant term, plus 3. And so there's what it looks like after we have factored out the leading coefficient, completed the square, kept the equation in balance. And now all that remains is to rewrite this trinomial as a binomial squared. So x minus 1, the quantity squared. And then combine these two constants out here, plus 2. There's vertex form. So the vertex of that parabola is located at 1. That's the h. And there has to be a minus sign here. Comma, k is 2. There's the vertex. The negative 3 in the front tells you that the parabola opens downward and it makes it a little bit skinnier than the standard parabola y equals x squared. Here's what it looks like. There's the original function written in standard form. <coughs> Here it is written in vertex form and there's the vertex 1 comma 2. There you go. Hope that gave you some idea how to do additional problems. If you have any questions, post a comment.